Hello, and welcome to Gentle Yoga class. My name is Tom Sherman, and I'm going to be your teacher today. And what I'd like to do is start with some warm-ups. We're going to start by loosening up all the different parts of the body. And because the neck and shoulders are an area where many of us hold tension, stress, and just the daily pressures of life, we're gonna start by rolling the shoulders, all right? So I encourage everybody to participate according to how your body is feeling today. If anything we do feels like it's too much of an exercise for you, if you start to do something and it's uncomfortable or painful, I want you to just stop rest and then pick up with the next exercise right? so yoga is never an endurance contest just do what you're comfortable with today and we're going to start by rolling the shoulders in great big circles right? so we're rolling the shoulders up and forward that your chin is level. That's it. Roll your shoulders back behind you. Notice that your feet are parallel and your shins are straight up and down. Roll those shoulders back. Try to slide your hands a little bit back towards your abdomen and that helps to Relax your shoulders. That's it. Nice. And then let's draw the shoulders up to the ears with a deep inhalation. All right, so inhale, take a very deep breath. And relax, drop your shoulders. And again, inhale, squeeze, and release. Now let's start to roll the shoulders one at a time, up and forward. So yoga is all about movement. We need to move, right? and when, as we move, we loosen up all the different parts of our body, all right? So let's roll the shoulders back one at a time. So as we roll the shoulders back, we're moving the muscles, ligaments, tendons in the shoulders. We're moving the bones. We're moving the skin. We're moving the nerves, the blood vessels, and arteries in our body. So all of this movement helps to move old stagnant energy out of the body and to welcome new fresh chi or energy into the body. All right, here we go. Inhale, squeeze your shoulders. And and again, really squeeze. And release. And let's reach up, all right? So what I want to encourage everybody to do is a technique called press into the extremities. In each yoga posture, you press into the extremities. So the right fingers, you press up. Crown in the head is an extremity, you press up. Lean just a little bit to the side and look up. You push your chin up. Inhale back to center. We're breathing in. We're breathing out. Press. Lift your chin and look up. Inhale back to center. Notice how slowly we move. Fill your lungs. Exhale and 
cracks. Inhale, fill your lungs. Exhale, press. So this move here, you lift your chin, look at your elbow. When you press up with your chin, it's really a good exercise for the muscles, ligaments, tendons, vertebrae, and discs in your neck. We're coming back to center, all right? So we just worked our shoulders. Now the opposite, you just flop them around. So this expression, why don't you just loosen up a little bit, all right? So that's what we're doing. We flop the shoulders. That's it. Now, another similar exercise, it's called picking apples, all right? So you reach up. So we're picking apples, so you're going to have to look up, and this apple tree, the apples are a little bit high, so you have to reach up, and just reach up, and then squeeze your fist as you bring it down. Lean to the side, reach up, lift your chin, reach, open your hand, squeeze your fist as you bring it down. Reaching up, open your hand toward, so you're stretching your thumb muscle. Reach for an apple, bringing it down. Let's continue. Reach as high as you can without straining. Bring your chin up, open your hands, squeeze your fist. All right, so notice what we're doing with the hand. We're opening it as wide as we can, stretch your thumb muscle. And then the opposite, we're squeezing the fist. Why is this important? Because almost everything we do in life, we use our hands. And in, in yoga, you find these beneficial exercises for your busy, busy hands. Squeeze, bring in your arm down. Give your shoulders a good shake, okay? Now, let's do a twist. All right, so here we are. Think up. Think tall. All right, so we're, we're lifting the sternum. We're pressing up into the crown of the head. All right, so for our first twist today, we'll interlock the arms, drop your elbows. Now, by lifting crown of the head sternum, we stretch out the spine, so the vertebrae in the discs, vertebrae in the neck have space between them. So as we're twisting, there's space so they can, that you can get a good, safe twist. Turn to your left, look behind you, and push a little bit back with your left shoulder. Look just a little bit up to your left. Inhale and face forward. Slow motion, twist, turn to your right and look behind you. So for press points, we're using the right shoulder, you press back. Left shoulder, just a little bit, you press forward. Crown of the head, you press up. Inhale, face forward. Really fill the lungs. Exhale and twist. Inhale back to center. Exhale and twist. Back to center. Let's do one more. Notice how slow it is we very slow. Inhale as you face forward. Fill your lungs. Exhale and twist. Look back behind you. Inhale back to center. Nice. Now, let's reach out. We're going to work on the fingers and the wrists going to press. So see if you can come into a position where your little fingers and thumbs are touching. Your 
lengthen your arms, push them out there. Now here are the press points. Press up into the crown of the head. Push your sits bones into the chair. Lift your sternum. Push heels of the hands. So as our arms come up, see if you can feel your elbows come closer and closer, press, and then slowly lift your chin, looking up. Begin to take your head from side to side. Wiggle your jaw. That's it. And then feel the chin dropping on the chest. So we continue to push heel of the hands. Press your chin to the left. Press your chin to the right. Feel the stretch in the back of your neck. So these are, it's gentle yoga, so our moves are slow and gentle, and yet we can still get a very complete workout doing our gentle yoga. Slowly coming back to center, take a deep breath, and release. So that was a lot of shoulder work. <coughs> Let's shake the shoulders. We're going to do an exercise to strengthen the neck muscles. And before we do that, we're going to do an exercise to loosen up and relax the neck muscles. So, right hand comes up, you reach for your left ear, feel your head coming over to the right. Make a big circle with your elbow. Wiggle your jaw all around. That's it. So this movement is giving your shoulder and neck a beneficial stretch. Let's change direction with the elbow and then wiggle your jaw release any stiffness or tension we may be carrying in the jaw muscles. Wiggle your jaw. That's it. Now slowly reach down. Pat on the back. Now here's the move. As always, chin's level. Press up, crown of the head. Lift your sternum just a little bit. Reach up, left hand for the right elbow. Fingertips should be more or less between the shoulder blades. Now what we're gonna do here is do a sounding breath. Right? So as we, br we breathe in and we let out the breath with a sigh, a moan or a groan. And as the sound comes out of the body, this sound takes stress, tension, worry, any kind of stagnant energy, physically or emotionally, that we're carrying. The best sound is a H-A-A -A sound, a ha sound, right? So you take a deep breath, and then, ah, you let it go, All right? Here we go. Drop the right arm, left hand for the right ear. Feel your head go a little bit to the side. Nice big circle. So this benefits your left shoulder. It benefits your neck. And then if you wiggle your jaw from side to side, it helps relax your jaw muscles. Let's change direction your left elbow in the opposite direction. Continue to move your jaw all around. And 
then reach down, walk your fingers down the back of your neck, reach down between your shoulder blades, so reach for your left elbow, sit tall, so we're going to try to relax the shoulders even more as we let go with the ha sound, what the yogis call the healing sound. Now fill your lungs, feel it. Take a deep breath, keep expanding. Inhale, ah, and relax. And then let's bring the arms down. Let's give the shoulders another good shake. That's it. Now, the neck exercise to strengthen the neck muscles. So if you think the vertebra in the neck, the discs in the neck, everything in the neck is delicate. No rough stuff with the neck, right? Heads are heavy. It takes good, strong neck muscles to keep our heads up, right? So you just bring your right hand up behind your ear and you push your head gently to the right and you push your hand to the left. So you just press your head up against your hand lean a little bit if you want, press, don't strain, notice your chin is level, press, and then we're coming up to center, switch your hands, press your hand to the right, press your head to the left, that's it, so notice that we're stretching, we're not straining, we're just getting a good stretch for the neck. And we're coming up one more time. Press your head to the right, hand towards the left. Gentle press. Inhale back to center. And again, press, press. Slowly come back to center, all right? Let's give the shoulders a good shake. Inhale the shoulders to the ears and squeeze. And release. Okay, now let's do an exercise that's good to strengthen the abdominals, all right? So it's so important to have strong abdominal muscles to hold our digestive organs and other organs in place. For our overall health, we want to have strong abdominal muscles, keeping everything where it needs to be. <laughs> and so what I'd like to invite you to do is bring your hands behind your head and then try to bring your elbow towards your knee. You don't have to necessarily touch your knee to get the benefits, feel it. A little bit of a crunch, that's it. alternate. Feel the twisting movement as you do it. Two more. Nice, and then we're back to center. Let's draw the shoulders up. Now press your shoulders into the neck. Now take another sip of air, just like you were sipping a straw, sip. Take more air, squeeze. Take more air, and release. Shake out the shoulders. That's it. Now, let's do a side to side stretch done a twist. Let's do lateral or side to side stretch. Church steeple variation, let's press. Arms closer to the ears, let's reach. Very slowly to the left. Just play with this. Slow and easy.
inhale back to center. Over to the other side. Now, I want to emphasize going really slow into the stretch, but also when you come up, you just come up slow. No jerky, sudden movements. Everything is slow, slowly into the stretch, slowly out of the stretch. One more time. Tug on your hands, pull on your hands. Inhale up, fill your lungs. Tug on your other hand. Back to center. All right, let's bring the arms down. Let's give the shoulders a good shake. Okay, and we're gonna do a seated exercise that's great for the neck, shoulder, and wrists and hands, right? Seated yoga mudra, right? So what we're gonna do, as best you can, you move forward on the chair, see if you can reach back, and then behind your back, interlock your fingers, all right? So this is a forward bend. So you may need to open your feet just a little bit, and then you drop your head and try to lift your arms higher and higher. Don't strain. Lift them up. Feel your head drop. Pushing your hands further and further forward. start to lift your chin. Your hands are coming down. Let's come back to center. Bring the shoulders to the ears. And release. And then again, squeeze those shoulders up. And release. So we just did a forward bend with quite a shoulder stretch. And we're going to now do a counter stretch. This is how you do a seated yoga back bend. It's called a supported back bend. As best you can, put your hands over your kidneys, low middle back. If you can, push the heels of the hands into the kidneys. It's really good to give your kidneys a massage like this, right? So when you press into them, you squeeze out the old blood and then a new supply of fresh oxygenated blood moves into the kidneys. Drop your shoulders and then we lean back. Now, it isn't necessary to do a deep back bend. Most of us can't anyway, right? All you have to do is think about lifting your sternum straight up, okay? So you lift your sternum, play with it. You lift your chin. You drop your shoulders. You lift your sternum. You lift your chin. Don't strain, just stretch. So right now, the vertebra in the front of the neck and down your spine are opening. So you're getting a really good stretch. Take a deep breath. Exhale up, and we're coming up. Now let's counter stretch again. We'll do another back bend. Press the heels of the hands into the kidneys. Lift your rib cage. Play with this. Lift your rib cage and chin. <clears throat> Drop your shoulders. Inhale back to center. Let's go into a forward bend. All right, open your feet. I invite you to reach towards your toes. Feel your head dropping. Completely release your neck. So now in this forward bend, the vertebra in the back of the neck and all the way down the spine, the discs and vertebra are opening, getting a beneficial stretch. Just relax your neck and shoulders.
inhale yourself up, lift your chin. We're coming back to center. That's it, check your alignment. Now, it's important to keep our hands healthy, right? And um, in yoga, there's a lot of exercises that are designed for that, all right? There's a special relationship between our hands and our brains and nervous system, all right? Again, because we do everything with our hands. <coughs> so what I'd like to invite you to try is this exercise. We're gonna play some piano, all right? So we're gonna play the piano. Now notice, your hands are on the keys, your shoulders are intense, you drop your shoulders, and you just start playing some piano. All right, so we're gonna play some classical music first. All right, we're playing classical music, Tchaikovsky. All right, feel it, that's it. Let's work those keys, that's it. Extend, that's right. Bringing it back, keeping the shoulders relaxed, work those keys. There it is. And then another piano style, that's domino style. Right? So we're pounding those keys. Think Jerry Lee Lewis, pounding those keys. That's it, boogie woogie. Really pound them, that's it. Feel it. <clears throat> Take a deep breath. Relax. Shoulders are coming up. And release. All right. <clears throat> Now, let's do just a little bit of what's called energy massage, all right? This is energy massage. Take your glasses off for, for the facial massage. We're gonna rub the hands till they feel warm. Now notice the hands are down between your knees and you rub them. And when you feel them getting warm, you know that fresh, chi is going into your hands, that warm energy makes you aware <clears throat> that there's new and fresh energy. So what do we do? We circulate that fresh prana, life force, chi, in the facial muscles, and we start with lifting your smile. You go up with the corners of the mouth, down over the arm. Good. And then you rub your hands till they're warm. Now it's important to relax the forehead, all right? Many people have, they have this frown on their face and they get frown lines, all right? Why? Because tension, worry, and emotional discord gets stuck up there. So what do we do? Bring your left hand up and just massage across your forehead. Just think that you're brushing away worry tension, whatever it might be for you today. Brush it away. Now let's fill our hands with some energy. And in the opposite direction, brush to the side. That's it. Rub your hands till they're warm. <coughs> Notice your chin's level and your shoulders are relaxed. Now take your fingertips and tap on your head. Tap. All right? You may feel <clears throat> a tingly energy as you tap. You tap from the front of the scalp all the way back to the base of the skull, front to back a few times. That's it. Now take some energy, brush down over your eyes, relax your eyelids. Gather some energy, massage your ears. So you put, it, bring your hands into the Spock, Dr. Spock position. You rub your ears. Take some energy, massage your nose, rub your nose. So blood can come into the little capillaries and blood vessels in your nose. You rub your hands till they're warm. Use the sides of your pointer fingers to massage your lips and gums. Vigorous massage. 
Fill your hands with energy. Now reach up under your ears. Find the hinge joint of your jaw and massage and wiggle your jaw at the same time. So the yogis say, if your facial muscles are tensed, if you have tension in your face, it's really hard to relax any other part of your body, all right? So if you've got a worried expression on your face, it's very hard to relax anywhere else. So it's very important to keep the facial muscles soft and relaxed. Take two fingers, drop your head, rub the back of your neck vigorously. Now, let's take some energy and rub your hands and we're going to tap energy into the bone marrow. Okay, this is called bone marrow yoga. We need energy in the bones to keep our bones and the bone marrow healthy. How do you get energy into the bones? The most direct way, you just tap it in there. You send it right into the bone marrow. Then you turn your fist up and tap the other side of the bone coming down. So the tap, the number is nine, right? So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, rub your hands. Let's do the bones in the right arm. So we've got to keep those bones strong. Fill them up with chi or energy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now let's vibrate the bones in the feet. Have a little tantrum. Shake out your wrist. forward slightly in your chair. Make fists. Rub them. Reach back. Tap your kidneys and keep your chin up. That's it. Chin's up. The vibration in the kidney keeps your kidneys healthy and clean so they can do their important work of filtering the blood in your body. All right. Rub your hands. Stimulate the respiratory system. Vibrate your ribs, you tap. Notice your shoulders are down and relaxed. Tap your ribs, especially under your arm. And then you switch your hands. Nice. Now let's take some energy and do the biggest bones in the body, which are your hips and legs, right? We want to keep these big bones healthy. What do we do? Exercise, drink a lot of water, and vibrate the bone marrow. Tap. Going down the sides. So you can keep your chin up. Do the inside of the shins. Tops of the thighs. Hips. Sides of the legs. Inside of the shins. Skip the knees, top of the thighs. One more time. Hips. Legs. Tops of the thighs. Nice. Let's draw the shoulders to the ear, squeeze. And release, okay? So let's do some standing exercises. So, So this is chair yoga, and we can use our chair to sit on as we've been doing for our warm-ups and our seated exercises. And then, very importantly, we use the chair for to help us with our balance, just in case we feel a little wobbly for one reason or another, we've got our chair. Okay, it's very important. We want to do this so that we're, we're safe, all right? So let's open the feet and 
So the feet are about shoulder width. <coughs> We're gonna do an exercise that's good for your shoulders and neck and hands and wrists, but it's also really good for your lungs. Okay, so some of these exercises influence not just the muscles and skeletal tissue, but our organs, all right? And real health is having healthy, viable organs, all right? So the wrists are touching, the chin's level, the hands are right in front of the heart. It's not here, but out in front of you. Take a deep breath, and then we press. So you push the palms up, and then push your thumbs towards the ceiling. Now breathe in and bend your legs, breathe in. Exhale and press. Inhale, drop your elbows. And again, breathe in. Now press. Now here's the move. Push heels of the hands, thumbs up, and press down with the balls of the feet. So the balls of the feet on one end, end of the body to stimulate energy. Heels of the hands on the other end of the body, thumbs up, push, and release. Back into the Kung Fu position. Let's do shooting the bow. We're gonna bring the left arm out. We're gonna reach for the bowstring, notch it under the right ear, and just relax. Right elbow, left wrist at the same level. Point your finger up, that's your bow. Inhale, pull your bow, breathe in, and release. Coming back to center. Let's transition. As the fingers separate, follow your right arm. There's the bow. Take your bowstring, notch it under the left ear. So we want to first of all relax the shoulders. Take careful aim over your pointer finger. Inhale the left hand back, breathe in. And release. Let's come back into the Kung Fu position. And then let's do a standing forward bend using our chair for support. So what we're gonna do is put our hands on the chair and you may need to step back just a little bit. Your feet are about six or eight inches apart and parallel and we're gonna bend forward. We're gonna keep holding the chair and just lean forward. Try to press up with your tailbone you can relax your neck and shoulders, you can drop your head a little bit. And then bring your chin up. Let's take a nice big deep breath in. Then another forward bend, press back and up with the tailbone, relax your neck. Slowly let yourself come up. Coming up, there it is. And let's do a standing twist called looking at the moon, right? Feet are shoulder width. Wrists are touching, right? Now, looking at the moon, we work the hands out. Thumbs are as high as your nose. Elbows are down. Now, as you turn to the left, lift your chin and look up. Look up, chin is up. Inhale and face forward. Feel it. <clears throat> You're feeling your lungs. <clears throat> Exhale and twist. Filling your lungs, exhale and twist, 
Look up. Inhale back to center. Exhale and twist. Look up. Back to center. Now, let's shake the shoulders. That's it. <clears throat> now, we're going to do a balancing posture. Let's stand so the fingers touch your chair, your chin is level. And the move here is to work your feet, ankles, and legs, but keep everything from the waist up relaxed, especially your shoulders. Chin's level. Here we go, up go the heels, breathe in, lift your heels. Exhale, drop your heels. Now inhale your toes up, weights on the heels, breathe in and breathe out. Now lifting your heels. Drop your heels, lift your toes. And then one more time, up go the heels. Down go the heels. Up go the toes. And release. All right. So we're going to do one more standing exercise. There, it's, there's two parts to, the, to it. It's called gathering the energy of the earth. And then the other part is gathering the energy of the sky or the heavens. <clears throat> And these are very relaxing exercises. These are really good to help you relax and in a gentle way they work every part of the body. All right, <clears throat> so we start with the back of the hands touching and the chin is down, the legs are slightly bent and <clears throat> I like to imagine I have my fingers, I'm standing in a lake in about knee deep water, nice clean cold water Fingers are, in, <coughs> fingers are in this mountain lake. That's earth energy. And then you inhale. You're inhaling. The hands come into prayer position. Now you lift your chin. Keep inhaling. And then exhale. Press. Reach for the earth energy. Draw it up into your organs and your heart, your throat, your brain. Push. Exhale, bend your legs, drop your head, inhaling up, exhale, and again. Exhale, now hold with your fingertips, touching your hips, legs are bent, Nice and loose, shoulders, everything's loose. So that, that was gathering the energy of the earth. And we thought about cold water, like a mountain lake. Yin, water, earth energy. <clears throat> now the opposite, we're gonna think about the sky. And what's up there? Space and stars, all right? So think about some stars, or if you have a star that you like the most, maybe it's a North Star. Think about a star. Maybe you like the day star the most, the sun. Think about a star bringing light and energy to our, into our atmosphere. And then you reach for that heavenly energy, right? So you lift your chin, lean back a little bit. And with your hands, you scoop up the heavenly energy. Try to touch the back of the wrist in, right in front of your heart. Forward bend, inhale, open up. Fill yourself up. Exhale. Reach for the heavenly energy. Reach for the light. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Back to center. And again, let's hold. Fingers are touching your hips. Very slight crouch. And let's come down and have a seat.
All right, so take your time having a seat. And so what, for our meditation, it's good to focus on the five high virtues. These five virtues are respected in every culture and civilization anywhere around the world. All right, anywhere around the world. And when you fill yourself with the five high virtues, what you're doing is building the foundation for your spiritual life and you're building up your capacity to be compassionate. That's the beginning of the spiritual life where you're compassionate with yourself, first of all, but with everybody, right? So this opens up your heart and fills you with virtue energy. <clears throat> you can touch your thumbs and point your fingers. You can draw the hands in, or you can nestle them in your lap. You focus in on the heart. Soften the facial muscles. The first virtue is courage, gentleness, kindness, peace, and tolerance. One more time. Courage, gentleness, kindness, peace, and tolerance. And then fill your heart with the high virtues. I want to thank you for joining us today with Gentle Yoga, and I'd like to offer you some energy and respect. Enjoy the rest of your day.